All right, hurry it up. It's time for my coffee break. All right, sit down. Sit down. Oh, Sounds like we just took the hard way. Go on. Damn. Damn, this boy is hard to get a hold of. That's okay, Ward. Don't worry about the soap. He's tough. Just save him. Dry. All right. How blind are you? Can't you see this guy's crazy? Can't you see I don't give a shit? Yeah, I can see that. Good. That's better. See there. I knew. You're just gonna shave your partner. Take it easy. Take this, Mitch. Don't move. I don't want you to catch your own throat.
Singleton, where the hell are you? <laughs> Singleton! Johnny. It's over! Nothing is over! Nothing! You just don't turn it off! It wasn't my war! You asked me, I didn't ask you! And I did what I had to do to win, but somebody wouldn't let us win! And I come back to the world, and I see all those maggots at the airport, protesting me, spitting, calling me baby killer and all kinds of vile crap! Who are they to protest me, huh? Who are they? Unless they've been me and been there and know what the hell they're yelling about. It was a bad time for everyone, Rambo. It's all in the past now. For you! For me, civilian life is nothing. In the field, we had a code of honor. You watch my back, I watch yours. Back here, there's nothing. You're the last of an elite group. Don't end it like this. Back there, I can fly a gunship. I can drive a tank. I was in charge of million-dollar equipment. Back here, I can't even hold the job. Fucking guys! Ah! Okay. Oh. Just oh god. Where's everybody? God, I, just, I had a friend. Was the Air Force. I had all these guys, man. Back there, I had all these fighting guys. Who were my friends? Because back here, there's nothing. Remember the Air Force? What is his black headband? I took one of those magic markers and I said it found. 
He mailed us to Las Vegas because we were always talking about Vegas and his fucking car. This is a red 58 Chevy convertible. He's talking about this car. He said we're going to cruise till the tires fall off. We went to this bar in Saigon, and this kid comes up. This kid carrying a sushi giant box. And he says, uh, shine, please, shine. I said, no, and he kept asking, yeah. And Joey said, yeah. And I went to get a couple of beers, and the, the box is wired. And he opened up the box, fucking blew his body all over the place. And he's laying there, and he's fucking screaming, there's pieces of them all over me, just like, like this. And I'm trying to pull him off, you know. And it's my friend that's all over me. He's got blood and everything, and I'm trying to hold him together. I put him together, his fucking his chains keep coming out. And nobody went out. No one help me say, please, I want to go home, I want to go home. We keep calling my name. I want to go home, Johnny. I want to drop my Chevy. I said, well, what? I can't find your fucking legs. I can't find your legs. I can't get out of my head. I can't do seven years. Every day it happens. And sometimes I wake up, I don't know where I am. I don't talk to anybody. Sometimes a day.
Comrade, here is something that might be of interest to you. A transcript of the conversation between your helicopter pilot and his commander. We intercepted. Dragonfly Wolf 10. Colorful names. Here we are. We have them in sight. And the reply, abort the operation immediately. This is a recall. Confirm. Over! It seems you were abandoned on direct command. And these are the people you protect with your pain. Zariski Zvolich. You may scream. There is no shame. Radio call. Give us your position and we'll come to pick you up. Murdoch. I'm coming to get you. <laughs>
You go on ahead. Let's see if you can find some cover. Ничего не вижу. Спускайся вниз, наконец. Yeah. 